Hey there, Internet! The Top 10 Fun continues as I talk about my favorite series books that were published in 2013. At number 10, I've picked A Darkness Strange and Lovely by Susan Dennard. The second book in her Something Strange and Deadly trilogy, this book takes our 19th century zombie fighters from the streets of Philadelphia to Paris, except death and darkness are taking over the City of Light. Coming in at number 9 is United We Spy by Allie Carter. The final book in her amazing Gallagher Girls series, this is a fitting finale to these teenage spies that we've known and loved over the last couple of years, and I will miss these characters dearly. At number 8, another series that has come to a close is Allegiant, the final book in the Divergent trilogy by Veronica Roth. Say what you will about this book, I know it's been criticized by many people, but to me, in a series that's trying to define what real bravery actually looks like and what it means to be brave, Allegiant does that question justice. It's the bravest ending Veronica Roth ever could have done, and I applaud her for sticking to the ending that she always envisioned. At number 7 is Siege and Storm, the second book in Leigh Bardugo's Grisha trilogy. The Russian-inspired fantasy world continues as Alina, our protagonist, continues to make choices that make me kind of want to pull my hair out sometimes. But she is strong and flawed and mal. I like mal. At number 6, we have Allie Carter again with the third book of her High Society series, Perfect Scoundrels. I really admire that this book deviates a little bit from the first two books in this series in that Kat and her team of teenage thieves are using their skills to try to do something good. They want to make sure that their friend Hale isn't being set up for something that could ruin him in the future. Coming in together at slots 5 and 4 are Prodigy and Champion by Marie Lu. The final two installments of her Legend trilogy both came out in 2013, and oh my gosh! You have action, you have adventure, you have fantastic world building, dual narrators, politics, fighting, fighter jets, it's all here in this series, and it was a fantastic, satisfying conclusion full of feels. I cannot recommend this trilogy highly enough for dystopian fans. At number three is The Beautiful and Bizarre Dream Thieves, the second book in Maggie Stiefvater's Raven Cycle series. While the first book focused a lot on Blue and Gansey, this book focuses more on Ronan, another of the Raven boys who has a deep secret, dark talents, and oh my gosh does he have a tendency to get into trouble. This series maybe took a little while for me to get into, but now that I'm hooked I cannot wait for books 3 and 4. At number 2 is Pivot Point by K.C. West. This is only book 1 and I am absolutely dying to get my hands on Split Second, which is due out next year. It's a contemporary sort of science fiction story about a girl named Addie, and when her parents announce they're getting divorced, she has to choose. Is she going to stay in the secret government town where she, with her mom, where everyone has a supernatural ability like she does, or is she going to go out into the normal world with her dad? She uses her ability to search the future to decide which path she could take, and while she's looking in both directions, a mystery is unfolding in both worlds. And finally, coming in at number one, my favorite series book that came out in 2013 is Scarlet, the second book in Marissa Meyer's amazing Lunar Chronicles series. I cannot say enough amazing things about this series. I love it to pieces, and it is great science fiction for fantasy fans. While the first book followed Cinder, a retelling of Cinderella, the second book keeps up with Cinder's story but then also adds on Scarlet, a girl living in France, and she has a big bad wolf, who's really a street fighter, as one of her companions, they continue to search for answers, and it turns out the girls' paths are actually linked. This is a series that I cannot shut up about, I will not shut up about, I adore it from top to bottom. Cress, the third installment, is due out in February 2014, I was lucky enough to already read that arc, and I just need to know how it ends with Winter, the final installment, but unfortunately that's not due out until 2015. So those are my top 10 favorite series books that came out in 2013. It was a difficult decision as always, but I hope some of these maybe piqued your fancy. All of my usual links are down below. Commas are always welcome. That's it for me for now, and have a happy new year. Bye!